first run in with Leon, I think he was wearing stripes actually. Big black and white stripes. I believe he even called me for holding. <laughs> if I remember right. Yeah, Leon refereed some of our football games uh, down in the Buxton area, Central Valley High School in the early 90s. And he ref found out from Belcourt all the way over to War Road back in the day, so covered a, a lot of ground. But holding Leon, really? <laughs> <laughs> My second experience with Leon was a student shadowing experience. I was supposed to meet with uh, Ron Reinhardt, but something came up and I met with Leon instead. He told me about the meteorology program and what to expect that next year. And I think it was meant to be because Leon and I worked together in many ways when I got to campus. As an undergrad, my first course with Leon was synoptic meteorology, where we applied the math and physics we learned over at Wimmer Hall to atmospheric science. And you can see he loved what he did, teaching us about the, the forces involved in weather systems and the deriving equations. He was in his element. Early on as a student forecaster, I learned a valuable lesson as a meteorologist. Forecasting was challenging. Analyzing the environment, looking at the various model solutions, trying to predict what would happen at a specific location at a specific time, it's, it's not, not easy. But Leon was passionate about forecasting. And when he was questioned by a student why he missed a forecast, he said, you know, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> and I learned from a meteorologist, you have to be okay with being wrong once in a while. It might not have happened very often with Leon, though. In 1996, I was hired to be part of the Atwis program here at UND that Mark was talking about. It was a 24 hours a day operation. We split it among three shifts. I worked weekends during the school year and continued a part-time job during the summer. And it was, it was a great experience. And not many students get that type of experience. Very grateful for that. We had lots of snow that winter. Just kept piling up. And we had the flood of 97. We all had to evacuate. We were sent out of town. Found out Leon had been staying at Arwick the whole time, keeping the Atlas program alive, working those 24-hour shifts, essentially. Eventually, I came in and relieved him on those shifts, allowing him to get a little bit of rest. But that's just an example of how he poured his heart into his work. Very good determination. In 1998, I started working at Meridian, and I remember seeing him logged in remotely once in a while. I was in the, the, the Linux, checking things out and working on my own projects, and I saying, what is Leon doing? And I remember him uh, calling in the middle of the night, telling us a script had failed or something else was going on. And uh, I remember he even came in one time, you know, 2 a.m. or something, thinking, what are you doing up? I'm trying to just stay awake here, <laughs> and you're coming in to, to help us solve a problem, to make sure we could do our job. And so I really appreciated that. Very dedicated. 2001, I was working at Meridian at the time, and my first son, Caden, was born. Kathy and Leon were the first to come see him. And I still laugh at this because I know my wife wasn't quite expecting visitors yet, <laughs> but... <laughs> It's okay, we were, we were happy to see them, and you could tell they genu genuinely cared about us and were excited for us. You know, I think to be a great leader, you need to be able to dream. And Leon always had a dream. <laughs> Something was always on the, on the horizon for Leon. He could see the end result and possibilities along the way. He knew he could get there if he worked hard. He's an innovator, a leader, definitely. Looking back at my years working with Leon, primarily the years he was my advisor during both undergraduate and graduate years, they were special. You know, Leon stirred in me a confidence that I didn't know I had. One characteristic that I love about Leon is that nothing is impossible. He never said, you can do it, but he didn't have to. He radiated it. His confidence in me gave me a determination, a drive. I wanted to prove him right that I could do it. His confidence in me helped me become who I am today. <laughs> Thanks for believing in me, Leon, and for believing in all of us.